Konoha, if I let you brush up your bond, you will offend the entire ninja world. Chapter 1. 52 Years of Konoha. It has been a year since the Nine Tails Rebellion. The wounds caused by the demon fox are slowly healing, and the popularity of the village is gradually increasing. Madam, you don't want your child to be bullied in the ninja school, right? In the prosperous commercial street, in front of a dumpling shop. The owner, Mrs. Miko, stared at the little boy in front of her with black hair and black eyes, handsome appearance, and as cute as the most exquisite doll. I couldn't believe that such threatening words came from his mouth. The young woman smiled reluctantly, little friend, you didn't bring money, it's okay, just go home and get it, and give it to me next time. Before she finished speaking, a little fat man ran out from the back room, crying and begging her not to take money. Miko realized that what the child said was true. In the end, at the request of her son, not only did she not charge for the dumplings in front, but she also gave away a few more tricolor dumplings. Little boy smiled with satisfaction, Auntie, you are very sensible. Don't worry, I will take care of your son in school from now on. My name is Shimura Shuanyu. After saying that, little boy turned around and left with the packing box, staggering into the crowd. Miko was stunned for a long time before she looked at her son who was relieved and asked anxiously, Taro, did this kid bully you at school? The child called Taro shook his head weakly, no, no, but Shimura is the grandson of the Hokage's assistant. Those students who offended him had a miserable life. Thinking of those students who didn't come to school for a week after being beaten, Taro shuddered. It was terrible. Not only did the teacher not scold Shimura, but he also praised him for his skills. If my mother took the money today, wouldn't he be the next one to be beaten? Hokage's assistant. Miko was shocked. That's a big shot, Shimura. No wonder. Miko was familiar with this surname. Although she was not a ninja, she knew that this was a very powerful ninja clan in the village. Shimura Shuanyu. Miko silently memorized the name. For the health of her son and to be able to survive in the village, she decided that as long as she could Shimura Shuanyu came to the store, and she didn't charge a penny. At the same time, ding, congratulations to the host for establishing a fear bond with Seba Miko and Seba Taro, and receiving the rewards, Grand Master of Meatball Making, 0.1 Standard Unit Genin Chakra. The system's prompts sound echoed in Shimura Shuanyu's mind. After seeing the reward content, the corners of his mouth twitched slightly. This system is really unreliable. Shimura Shuanyu, a traverser who traveled to the world of Five Village Fighting Eyes Legend, was born. After he was born, he saw a woman smiling at him gently, and then closed her eyes forever. And his father died on the battlefield while his mother was pregnant. The standard template of the protagonist with both parents dead. But unfortunately, he also has a grandfather Shimura Danzo. In this world, no matter what kind of villain, there will be loyal fans to whitewash him. The affectionate licking dog Obito, Haki wantonly Madara. Even the one who killed his relatives and fought seven people alone is also very popular. Only Shimura Danzo, not only no one whitewashed him, but those who whitewashed others would also put the blame on Danzo. This is not the fault of the, if you want to blame someone, blame that old guy Danzo. The title of Nebekage is well deserved. To be honest, after knowing his identity, Shimura Shuanyu only felt that his future was dark. But after thinking about it in the arms of the nanny for a few days, he thought it through again. It seems, it's no big deal. Compared with many other travelers who traveled to the world of Hokage, his identity is definitely a good one. Look at those wall hangers, which one has not been missed by Danzo after they emerged, Shimura Shuanyu has no such worries. As long as he guarded against assassinations from other villages in his childhood, he could spend it without worries. And at the beginning of the plot, there was nothing to worry about after entering the Fourth Ninja World War. Hide from the front battlefield, have a YY dream in Infinite Tsukuyomi, and you will usher in a long-term peace when you wake up. Be liquidated. That's impossible. As a standard hot-blooded protagonist, whether it is Uzumaki Naruto or Uchiha Sasuke, they will not be angry with his family because of Donzo's actions. Comfortable. After thinking it through, Shimura Shuanyu completely abandoned those useless worries and began to enjoy his identity as the eldest son of the Shimura family. In Konoha, the Hokage is Serutobi Hirazan, but he has to have face. 
Danzo is not a Hokage, and he has no shame. Because of this, when Sarutobi Asuma was strictly disciplined and had conflicts with his old father, Shimura Shuanyu was the biggest second-generation ancestor in the village. The real prince of Konoha. The pomp of Konohamaru in the later generations is not worth mentioning compared to him. In addition, as a time traveler, there must be the benefits of a time traveler. Since he was born, there has been a progress bar in his mind. Until three days ago, when he celebrated his sixth birthday, the system was loaded. The strongest ninja bond system. As long as you establish a bond with someone, you can extract the characteristics of the other person as a reward. These characteristics can be chakra attributes, the other person's unique talents, chakra, or mastered ninjutsu. Depending on the depth of the bond and the strength of the person who established the bond, the rewards obtained are also different. Just like just now, he and the owner of the dumpling shop knew each other's names and left a deep impression on each other, so this bond was initially established. If it continues to deepen, you can continue to get rewards. However, seeing the Grand Master of Dumpling Making revealed by the boss lady, Shimura Shuanyu knew that there was nothing good about the other party, and immediately lost the idea of getting to know him in depth. Master, you should go back for today's training. A young man with a very low presence and sunglasses appeared behind Shimura Shuanyu. No one in the bustling crowd even looked at him. Aburame Seiji, a root ninja, has the strength of a special janin and is Shimura Shuanyu's bodyguard. He also has a partner, Yamanaka Ryo, who has been hiding in the dark, and Shimura Shuanyu has never discovered him. Got it. Shimura Shuanyu responded lazily, and found another fan shop opened by a classmate. He used the same routine to brush two bonds, and was forced to accept a bag of round fans as a gift. Introduction to round fan making, standard genin chakra plus 0.1. After doing this, he left the commercial street with the fan and the round fan and returned to the Shimura family's clan. Master Shuanyu, today we will have chakra extraction training. In the courtyard of the wooden house, Shimura Shuanyu listened carefully to his tutor, Ibaikan, talking about the techniques and key points of chakra extraction. What is a special janin? They are ninjas whose strength is between chunin and janin. Janin who are promoted by exception because of their special talents in a certain field are called special janin. Ibaikan is a special janin who was promoted based on his educational ability. The skills and experience he taught in chakra extraction far exceed those of the teachers in the ninja school. The gap between the ninja clan and the civilian ninja was quietly opened at this time. With the same physical fitness and mental energy, the ninja clan ninja can extract chakra more efficiently, not only with a larger total amount, but also with a faster recovery speed than ordinary ninjas. Ordinary people compete with the strong ninja clan with their heads. If you want to make yourself stronger, you can only find a good teacher, but usually a good teacher is also a strong ninja clan. Gradually, Factions were formed. Although Shimura Shuanyu has both cheats and backers, he never slacks off in his practice. Instead, he works harder than ordinary people. In the final analysis, this is an extraordinary world where strength is respected. Without strength, even if others respect you, it is just superficial or they are afraid of your power. Having been ordinary for so many years in his previous life, Shimura Shuanyu now has the conditions, and he also wants to fight to become the man of destiny. However, he became hardworking only after he was five years old. Chakra is a kind of energy obtained by extracting the life energy in cells and mixing it with mental power in a certain proportion. Exercising too early is not necessarily a good thing. The disease of Konoha's first filial son is probably the result of his premature maturity and overdevelopment of his body. So, young people still need to be restrained. The two-hour class passed in a flash, and after bowing to each other to express their gratitude, Ebikyo left. He was very satisfied with Shimura Shuanyu as a student. Needless to say, there is no difference between Danzo and Hokage. The most important thing is that he is smart and sensible. The knowledge he talks about is easy to understand without wasting too much time. Unlike other young ninjas, Ibaikyo has to spend a lot of time to stabilize his emotions every time he teaches, just like a babysitter coaxing a child. On the other side, Shimura Shuanyu returned to the room. The servant brought the dinner and energy replenishing herbs that had been prepared long ago. He frowned and drank the bitter medicine in one gulp before Shimura Shuanyu started to eat. 
From a scientific point of view, the number of times a cell divides in its lifetime is limited. Using chakra to fight is Kryptonian. But even if chakra is not extracted, cell division is still going on, and most of the aging and death of humans is caused by organ failure, not the limit of cell division. So as long as you control the degree and take good care of your body, normal fighting will not affect your life. These things were learned by Xuanyu from his grandfather Shimura Danzo. The old man is old but not old at heart. Even at this age, he still dreams of becoming the Hokage, so he is particularly concerned about maintaining his health. If it were someone else, it would be a passionate old man show. Unfortunately. Who made you the pot shadow? After dinner, Shimura returned to the house. I don't know what the old man has been doing. He hasn't shown up in the past few days. In this huge mansion, he is the only owner except for the servants and guards. Lying on the bed, he summoned the system panel with a thought and switched to the page of personal attributes. Name. Shimura Shuanyu. Gender. Male. Age. 6 years old. Date of birth. April 1st 46 th year of Konoha calendar. Chakra attributes. Fire, genius, wind, genius, yang, excellent. Total chakra. 6.1 standard genin. Chakra control talent. Genius. Mastered ninjutsu. Three body technique, proficient, wind style, great breakthrough, normal, fire style, blazing fire, normal. Nature transformation. None. Special talents. I hope my son will become a dragon, mom loves you, senju bloodline, thin, under development, swordsmanship, genius, stealth grandmaster, dango making grandmaster, fan making grandmaster. Strength rating. The bully of the ninja school, you are the only one who bullies others, no one dares to mess with you. For a wall hanger, this is a rubbish panel. But considering that he only got the system a few days ago, except for one unit of standard genin chakra that he brushed out, the rest were all obtained by Shimura's own hard work. For a six-year-old child, Shimura has actually reached the graduation standard. The system also divides the various attributes and the mastery of ninjutsu into levels. All talents are divided into levels, namely ordinary, good, excellent, genius, ultimate, and broken limit. All ninjutsu are divided into entry, ordinary, proficient, grandmaster, ultimate, and broken limit according to proficiency. The genius is the most famous genius in Konoha, Kakashi, and the so-called ultimate is the third Hokage, who is known as the doctor of ninjutsu. Just looking at the current panel, Shimura's upper limit in the future is elite janin. At most, he will spend more time and barely touch the edge of cage level. But, Shimura looked at the first two talents in the special talent and was stunned. Wishing your son to be a dragon, your father, who you have never met, has extremely high expectations for you. All the attribute talents you already have will be upgraded by one level. Mom loves you, mother's love is the greatest emotion in the world. She left the most precious gift before her death. This talent is divided into three stages. The first stage, the host awakens the Senju bloodline from the mother's line, and develops automatically as the age increases. The effect disappears after adulthood. The second stage, after the host officially becomes a ninja, all talents are upgraded by one level, the upper limit is broken, and some special talents cannot be upgraded. The third stage, after the host becomes an adult, 16 years old, he will continue to be blessed by mother's love, and the amount of chakra he possesses will double. Parental love. Shimura Shuanyu recalled the gentle woman who only met once, and his mood was a little complicated. He knew that his mother was from the Senju clan. In those days, Senju Tobarama promoted the marriage between the Senju clan and the ninja clan in the village and the civilians. Although it lost combat power in the short term, it also increased the probability of genius among civilian ninjas. However, it is not easy to stimulate the Senju bloodline. My mother has left the best gift for herself. She helped to make up for the novice gift package that the system did not give. The next day. Today happened to be a day off, Shimura slept in and didn't get up until noon. Ebikini wouldn't come today, but Shimura didn't mean to be idle. Going to the village to brush the bond is too inefficient, it's better to train at home. There are three conditions for the system to achieve a bond. First, both parties must face each other. Second, both parties must know each other's names. Second, Shimura must leave a deep impression on the other party. So far, only the rewards left by the two parents are an exception. 
He is now a small person in the eyes of adults, and they don't take him seriously at all. It's still difficult to achieve the third point. Otherwise, the two guards around him, Aburame Seiji and Yamanaka Ryo, would not have failed to brush out the most basic bond until now. In their eyes, Shimura is currently just their mission target, not an impressive individual. Currently, the best place to brush rewards is still the ninja school. For example, his fire attribute was acquired from school. Maybe one day he will be able to acquire all five attributes, and even the yin attribute. Arriving at the courtyard, Shimura picked up a children's dagger specially made for him and began to practice the most basic slashing. In this world, swords and knives are not differentiated, but in Shimura's eyes, they are actually knives, and the so-called Kusanagi sword is also a knife. However, he will not correct other people's names when he is in Rome. He has a talent for swordsmanship, and he can be promoted to the ultimate level when he becomes a genin in the future. It would be a waste if he does not practice hard. Most people in the Hokage world are mortals no matter how strong they are. The efficiency of killing enemies with swords is not worse than ninjutsu, and it may even be higher. Ordinary ninjas do not learn many ninjutsu, and most of the time they still rely on physical skills and ninja tools to fight. When using ninjutsu, it is either to establish an advantage or to pursue a one-hit kill. Do you really think that everyone can treat balls as flat attacks like Naruto? Whoosh. Whoosh. The sound of swinging spread in the courtyard, and the warm sunlight fell from the blue sky, shining on Shimura Shuanyu's forehead, and fine beads of sweat sparkled. The practice lasted from after lunch to sunset, until a low voice came from behind, and Shimura Shuanyu stopped. Shuanyu. Shimura Shuanyu turned around and saw a tall, wrinkled old man. There was still a bandage wrapped above his left eye, and his face was gloomy, revealing a cold and dark temperament, but when he looked at him, he showed a smile. Perhaps because he didn't smile often, the old man's smile looked very stiff. This person was naturally Shimura Danzo, the dark of the ninja world, the 5.5th Hokage, and the strongest Nebekage in history. Old man, you're back. Shimura Shuanyu greeted him. Since he could speak, he called Danzo old man, and never called him grandpa. Danzo didn't care, or rather, caring wouldn't change anything. He can be cold to outsiders and plot against anyone. But Shimura is his only relative in the world, the continuation of his bloodline. At the same time, he also pinned his hopes on Shimura. In the future, he not only wants Shimura to inherit the root, but also wants Shimura to become Hokage. And the talent shown by Shimura did not disappoint Danzo. It was almost the same as Kakashi in the past. Not long after he started school, he had already reached the graduation standard. It's a pity, there is no blood limit. Danzo's one eye dimmed. In his mind, no matter how strong an ordinary ninja is, there is a limit. Only Sharingan or wood style can make Shimura and him stronger. Thinking of the recent situation in the village, Danzo's mind turned. And Shimura, who greeted him, stood there in a daze. Just after he saw Danzo, the system sounded two prompts in succession. Host activates the family bond with Shimura Danzo and gets a reward, wind attribute, genius. Host and Shimura Danzo reach the second stage of bond and get a reward, wind attribute nature transformation, grandmaster. After the system was successfully activated, this was the first time Shimura met Danzo, so it was not surprising that he got the reward now. The two rewards automatically merge, making Shimura's temperament more fierce. Especially the wind attribute nature transformation, Danzo should be considered the strongest wind style master in Konoha now, and he is also ranked among the top in the entire ninja world. Not everyone can cut Suzano with wind attribute chakra plus shuriken. Danzo also noticed Zanyu's change, woke up from his meditation, walked slowly to the courtyard, and stood in the open space. I have time today, and I haven't checked your learning progress for a long time. Let me see your progress. Ah. Oh. Shimura Zanyu did not refuse, tightened the sword in his hand, and rushed over without saying hello. A layer of fuzzy air swam around the sword, and Danzo's eyes flashed with surprise. Nature transformation. Good, good. Mastering nature transformation at the age of six, my grandson has the appearance of a Hokage. In a moment, Zanyu has come to Danzo and chopped down with a short sword. Danzo just slightly turned sideways and easily dodged. 
Zan Yu's right leg swept across violently. Danzo raised his hand to block. With the help of the collision force, Zan Yu turned around, pulled away for a distance, and rushed up again. After all, Danzo is at least an elite Jonin. Even if he uses all his strength, Shimura Genjutsu cannot pose a threat to him. And Shimura Genjutsu has no intention of hiding his weakness. He uses his swordsmanship and ninjutsu to his full strength. He has all the bond rewards for the second stage. The person who is least likely to hurt him in this world is Shimura Danzo. A quarter of an hour later, Shimura Genjutsu stopped panting, and his chakra was already at the bottom. Well done, Genjutsu, but don't be proud. You are just a genius, not a real strong man. The smile on Danzo's face could no longer be stopped. Shimura Genjutsu's performance today was far beyond his expectations. He used the wind attributed nature transformation very skillfully, and the fire style ninjutsu was also very good. If he could change his eyes again, the future Konoha would belong to their Shimura family. Thinking of this, Danzo was even happier and took Shimura Genjutsu into the house. Oh, old man. During the meal, Shimura seemed to think of something and looked up and asked. I saw that you were not in a good mood when you came back. Who has offended you? Danzo took a bite of rice without caring, who else could it be? Sarutobi Hirazan, that old man. I failed to assassinate him today, and the day when I will become Hokage will be postponed again. Shimura. After Danzo's narration, Shimura finally understood the cause and effect. It turned out that Danzo disappeared during this period of time, and he was secretly planning to assassinate the Hokage. After the Nine Tails Rebellion, the youngest and most brilliant fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato died, and the third Hokage Sarutobi Hirazan stood up again to take charge of the situation, and he had no intention of choosing another Hokage. According to the process, the Hokage needs to meet the daimyo and get his approval. But after the attack on Konoha, everything was in ruins, and the third Hokage did not go to the capital of the Land of Fire, and he was delayed until recently to arrange the time. Danzo got the news early and mobilized all the power of the route, preparing to kill the third generation today. Good news, the kill was successful. Bad news, the Hokage who was killed was Kakashi in disguise, and the real Sarutobi Hirazan had already seen through his conspiracy. When Danzo was sitting on the Hokage throne intoxicated, he suddenly appeared and scared him. Although Sarutobi Hirazan did not punish him, his arrogant and nonchalant tone deeply hurt Danzo's self-esteem. And the most infuriating thing is that he finally found a wood-style ninja, but Sarutobi Hirazan lured him away with Kakashi. Now when he mentioned it, Danzo still cursed. He even scolded Sarutobi Bawako, who had already died. Shimura was very upset. Old man, don't push your luck. If someone else assassinates the Hokage, they will lose their lives. The third generation has already been very kind not to deprive you of your position as the leader of the route. Does he have the ability to do that? Shimura Danzo smiled coldly, with an expression of unspeakable pride, nominally, they are part of Anbu, but Hirazan has no authority to give orders. Even if my position is removed, those people will still obey me. This is, a qualified tool. Then don't commit suicide. Shimura Shuanyu curled her lips, I'm still studying in the ninja school, that's his territory. He won't attack you. Shimura Danzo said in a deep voice, it's just an assassination. It's not the first time I've done it in the past few decades. When he just became Hokage, I assassinated him once, and then I assassinated the fourth generation again. Dot dot dot. What a weird play. Shimura Shuanyu listened to his grandfather telling about that glorious history, and he didn't know what kind of expression to show. I can only say, the power of Bond is so terrifying. For others, assassinating the Hokage is a big event, but for Danzo, it has become a way for him and Sarutobi Hirazan to enhance their relationship. Forget it, he doesn't want to care about the grudge between these two old guys, as long as it doesn't involve him. After dinner, Shimura went back to the house to refine chakra. Danzo returned to the root base. The wooden stick in his hand tapped the ground lightly, and two masked root ninjas appeared instantly, kneeling on one knee respectfully behind him. Danzo did not issue an order immediately, but pondered for a long time before saying in a cold voice, do your best to collect swordsmanship from Konoha and other ninja villages, 
organize and summarize, and instruct the secret line of the water country to see if you can get a ninja sword from the seven ninja swordsmen. Yes. One of the ninjas responded and then retreated. Danzo asked another person, what has Orochimaru been doing recently? Orochimaru entered the laboratory half a month ago and has not come out since then, or, my subordinates are not capable enough and have not discovered his whereabouts. Shimura Danzo snorted coldly, without any intention of scolding. Asking subordinates to monitor Orochimaru was something beyond their ability. He was the most bizarre of the Sanin, especially after the other two left the village, his temperament changed drastically. Now he and the other party are in a delicate state of cooperation, but in order to retaliate against Serutobi Hirazan's behavior, he plans to expose Orochimaru's experiment and force him to leave the village. Using his own people for human experiments, even if Serutobi Hirazan has great ability, he can't save him. But before that, he still wants to squeeze out the surplus value of Orochimaru. Since Zanyu likes swordsmanship, he, as a grandfather, naturally has to provide the best conditions for his grandson. Swordsmanship alone is not enough, there must be a famous sword to match it. His first choice in his mind is the Thunder God Sword, which is the sword of his teacher second Hokage Senju Tobarama. Now it is in Hirazan's hands, and it is not easy to get it. In addition, there is the Kusanagi Sword in Orochimaru's hand. Kusanagi is not a sword, but a general term for a class of famous swords. It is said that Orochimaru has more than one Kusanagi sword in his hand, and he is also tempted. Let's go. Shimura Danzo walked out of the root base slowly, like an old man about to Kuchiki, and his movements were very slow. Go meet Orochimaru. I haven't given Shuanyu his sixth birthday present yet. In the blink of an eye, it was time for the ninja school again. Shimura Shuanyu went out with his school bag on his back and walked towards the ninja school. Shimura's clan land was outside Konoha. Along the way, many people from the same clan greeted him respectfully, and he also got a few bonds. 0.1 Standard Chunin Chakra. 0.2 Standard Chunin Chakra. The power of the system slowly emerged. 1 Standard Chunin Chakra is equivalent to 10 ordinary genins. When he walked out of the clan land, Shimura Shuanyu's chakra had reached 1.3 Standard Chunin, and he also got a few wind attribute talents. The system provides the ability to merge talents. Perhaps the quality is poor and the number is too small, his wind attribute qualifications still have not broken through to ultimate. But it is obviously enhanced. When they arrived at the ninja school, several students sent by their parents saw Shimura Shuanyu and their faces suddenly changed. They almost cried. Shimura glanced at them and ignored them. He walked straight into the classroom and sat down at the window seat in the back row. These were the classmates who had mocked him for being an orphan because no one picked him up. After hearing this, Shimura beat them up severely and took more than a week to recuperate before returning to class. Is the revenge over? Of course not. As long as their parents are ninjas, they will definitely not survive this year and will die gloriously on the battlefield. By then, they will be able to experience what it feels like to be an orphan. If they are not ninjas, wouldn't it be easier to deal with them? Zan Yu. Just as Shimura was staring at the sparrows on the treetops in a daze, a cute lowly with long black hair jumped into the classroom. When she saw him, her eyes lit up and she immediately ran to the empty seat next to Shimura and sat down. Shimura also came back to her senses and rubbed her little head with a smile. Kwan. Uchiha Izumi, a girl who lives up to her name. She has a gentle personality like a spring, a voice like flowing water, long black hair, and a teardrop mole on the lower right corner. She will definitely be a rare traditional beauty when she grows up. She is Shimura's childhood sweetheart whom he met last year. He witnessed the Nine Tails Rebellion with his own eyes. The giant fox as big as a mountain was wreaking havoc outside the village. At that time, Shimura was led by several guards to the underground shelter and happened to meet Uchiha Izumi who was fleeing in a hurry. Naturally, he intercepted the black and straight little lowly. Originally, Shimura only had a wind attribute and a hidden yang attribute. His current fire attribute was obtained from Uchiha Izumi. Zan Yu. Uchiha Izumi's face flushed, and she said a little aggrievedly, what were you busy with during the holidays? Why didn't you come to see me? I'm working hard on my training, Izumi. Shimura Zan Yu sighed with a pretentious look, 
and looked at the figure who had just come in with Izumi. After all, there is a genius like Uchiha Itachi in my class, I have to work hard and not bring shame to the Shimura family. The one who came in with Uchiha Izumi was the first filial son in the ninja world, Uchiha Itachi. There are many orphans in the ninja world, but Uchiha Itachi is really unique in turning himself into an orphan. I have to admire him. You are also a genius, Zanyu. Izumi hurriedly cheered up his little friend. This is not wrong. When Uchiha Itachi did not open his eyes, Shimura Zanyu might be stronger than him now. But after opening his eyes, Uchiha Itachi was like a cheat, and he jumped to cage level in a few years. Uchiha Itachi frowned slightly. He always felt that Shimura Shuanyu was hostile to him. Hostility towards Uchiha is very common, especially after the Nine Tails Rebellion. Many people saw the Magatama in Nine Tails Red Pupils, and this phenomenon became more obvious. But Shimura Shuanyu was different. His hostility seemed to be only directed at himself. He had no prejudice against the Uchiha clan, otherwise he would not be able to get along so well with Uchiha Izumi. You are not inferior to me in strength, Shimura classmate, we should all continue to work hard and contribute to the village as soon as possible. Uchiha Itachi stood still, politely said a word, and then continued to walk back. Shimura Shuanyu looked at his back, unable to tell whether this was the real body or shadow clone, and had the urge to try it out. Shuanyu, what are you looking at? Izumi asked in a strange way. No. Shimura Shuanyu turned his head and looked at Izumi with a smile, I didn't accompany you last weekend. How about we go fishing together next week? Izumi's eyes suddenly lit up, and his attention was immediately diverted. Where are we going to go fishing? How about the small river in forest? No. 35. The scenery there is nice. I'll listen to you. Shimura agreed with a smile. Although Danzo didn't like his contact with Uchiha Izumi, and the two had a quarrel over it, due to Shimura's insistence, Danzo finally didn't use any sinister means. Perhaps in his eyes, marginal Uchiha like Uchiha Izumi is harmless and can't affect the overall situation. However, he never gave up instilling the idea that Uchiha is inherently evil into Shimura, which made Shimura almost vomit. Not long after, the bell rang, and their class teacher Fengjian Shuichi walked in. Classmates, this class we will learn to throw ninja tools. Fengjian Shuichi quickly got into the state and didn't waste time on any brainwashing. The textbooks of Konoha Shinobi School are not as shameless as in the future. They advocate that the third generation is the strongest Hokage, and most of the content is used for brainwashing. In this era, the war has not yet completely ended. In the 50th year of Konoha, Namikaze Minato's succession as Hokage only represents the end of large-scale battles. In fact, except for the weakest Sunagakur lying down and admitting defeat, there was no large-scale war between the other ninja villages, but small frictions continued, and the villages were also in a tense wartime state. These students are all military reserve forces, so they have no time to talk about those empty things. The teachers are seizing the time to teach real ninja knowledge and experience. Kazama Shuichi wrote and drew on the blackboard, various parabolas came up with at will, and taught several techniques for throwing shuriken. The first theoretical class ended, and the second practical class was still his. Shimura Shuanyu led the classmates in the class out of the classroom and came to the training ground for practical training. There were not enough targets on the field, so the students were divided into groups of two. Shimura was naturally with Izumi. Uchiha Itachi was in a group with an unknown extra. He picked up three shurikens and threw them casually. After a crisp collision, they all hit the bull's eye strangely, causing a burst of exclamations. Awesome. All three hits. As expected of Uchiha, he is so strong. Itachi is so handsome. Who should I choose between him and Shimura? I'll choose you, you big head ghost. I've been eating a lot of candy recently. I can't let you taste the sweetness. Who will wake him up? Uchiha Izumi ignored the noise over there and threw the shuriken seriously. Although he didn't show off his skills like Uchiha Itachi, the result was the same. They all hit the red circle in the center. Very good, Izumi. Shimura praised generously. The little lowly showed a cute smile and stepped back to make way. Zanyu must be more powerful than me. That's right, watch out. Shimura smiled and took out a shuriken from his ninja bag. Shuichi Kazama also looked over. 
Shimura and Uchiha Itachi are two geniuses in the class, and both come from prestigious families. Uchiha Itachi has just shown his strength that matches his reputation, and now it's up to Shimura. One second later. Boom. Several targets suddenly exploded, scaring the students. Shuichi Kazama stared at Shimura with his eyes wide open, and he was completely stunned, why do you have an explosive tag on your shuriken? He saw it clearly just now, Shimura's shuriken brushed past the target, and the explosive tag behind it exploded, directly destroying several nearby targets. Shimura looked as if it was a matter of course. Increase the error tolerance. If the shuriken is thrown off target, the detonating talisman can also play the same role. Just tell me whether it hits or not. Kazama Shuichi. Shimura, the purpose of the shuriken training class is to train your throwing accuracy. Wouldn't it be meaningless to use detonating talismans? Even though Shimura's identity was not simple, Fengjian Shuichi still couldn't help but preach. The price of a detonating talisman is about 300 tails, and the price will rise during wartime due to material shortages. 300 tails can buy three bowls of Ichiraku ramen, which is not a small amount. Generally, ninjas carry at most a dozen tails when they go on a mission. How can they equip one shuriken with one? That would be too extravagant. The money earned from the mission is not enough to spend. Shimura waved his hand, teacher, it's good to achieve the goal. It doesn't matter what means are used. It's just a detonating talisman. I can still afford tens of thousands of them. Fazama Shuichi was choked and speechless, and his classmates were also shocked by Shimura's generosity. Host establishes a bond with Kazama Shuichi, I have a rich student, and receives the reward, Earth Attribute Chakra Good. Host establishes a fear bond with classmate A, and receives the reward, 0.1 Standard Genin Chakra. Host achieves a speechless bond with classmate B, and receives the swordsmanship talent normal. The prompt sounds rang one after another, and Shimura Shuanyu's eyes narrowed with a smile. Of course, he has mastered the throwing technique, and it can be said to be pretty good. But in order to make himself stronger and make others impressed, Shimura Shuanyu can only do some unexpected things. Now almost all the first stage bonds in the class have been eliminated by him. Except. Shimura Shuanyu looked at the expressionless Uchiha Itachi and narrowed his eyes slightly. As expected of a weasel who started thinking about the meaning of life at the age of four, his emotions are quite stable. In the blink of an eye, it was time to go home from school. Shimura and Uchiha walked out of the school gate. Invited by Izumi, Shimura was going to have dinner with her at home. The two chatted and laughed along the way, and no one paid attention to Uchiha Itachi who was walking with them. Shimura was quite clear about the family situation of Uchiha Itachi, and the situation was not too good. Azumi's father was a son-in-law, and he was a foreign ninja. He died to protect her during the Nine Tails Rebellion. Her mother was just an ordinary Uchiha, with the strength of a chunin, and she didn't even open the Sharingan. Bloodline families like Uchiha and Hayuga usually attach great importance to the protection of bloodlines, and most of them are intermarriages. If Izumi's father was not a son-in-law, there would be no possibility between the two, but the attitude of other Uchiha people towards their family was still not good, and they were often excluded. Stop! This is the Uchiha clan, outsiders are not allowed to enter. Two Uchiha clan members guarded the gate like door gods, stretched out their hands to stop Shimura Shuanyu and Uchiha Kwan, and their expressions were as arrogant as lousy Tianxi Adiji. For details, please refer to the future second pillar, especially the sunlight pillar. There are reasons why the Uchiha clan has a bad reputation. In addition to the fear and small actions of the upper class, they also have many reasons of their own. They look down on people one by one, as if all the people in the village are trash except Uchiha. Who would like such a person? Senior, Xuanyu is my friend. Quan said hurriedly, and the two guards just shook their heads coldly. Rules are rules, you can only go in by yourself. Shimura Shuanyu chuckled, those who know that Uchiha belongs to Konoha, and those who don't know think that Konoha belongs to Uchiha. I can go into the Hokage's office whenever I want. You Uchiha want to be independent. The two guards' faces changed, and Itachi, who came back behind them, also changed. Before he could speak, a majestic voice came from the gate. This little friend is joking. 
Uchiha is naturally a member of Konoha, and friends are welcome to visit. The guard turned around and saw the person coming. Cold sweat immediately oozed from his forehead, and he bowed his head respectfully. Fugaku clan leader. Father. Uchiha Itachi came to his side. Uchiha Fugaku just nodded to his son, ignored the two guards, walked straight to Shimura and Izumi, showed a friendly smile, and said softly. Little friend, you must be Shimura, I often hear Itachi mention you, welcome to Uchiha. Really welcome. Shimura's face was full of childish innocence and confusion, then why are these two uncles so fierce? They misunderstood my meaning. Uchiha Fugaku quickly found an excuse, the purpose of the guards is only to identify spies, not to stop friends. Tisk. Shimura shook his head and sighed, what's the use of subordinates who can't even understand orders? It's better to let my grandfather train them for a few days and make sure they obey your orders when they come back. He is very good at this. Uchiha Fugaku's smile froze. Let Danzo train them. He was afraid that these two people would become blind for various reasons when they came back. Don't worry, Master Danzo. I will discipline them well. After saying that, Fugaku glared at the two guards fiercely, and was about to activate the Sharingan. Ding. Host and Uchiha hero establish a hostile bond, and reward Yen a tribute chakra good. Host and Uchiha Takashi establish a hostile bond, and reward Yen a tribute chakra good. Host and Uchiha Fugaku establish a bond, and reward Yen a tribute chakra genius. Host and Uchiha Itachi establish a bond, and reward special talent, one on seven combat talent. Shimura Shuanyu's body was shocked, and he quickly ordered the system not to merge first, keeping calm on his face, smiling at Fugaku, and looking at Uchiha Itachi, his eyes changed. Fat sheep. If Kakashi is a 50 to 50 match in the ninja world, he can deal with anyone he meets. Then Uchiha Itachi is the other extreme. Those who are not as strong as him can be killed instantly, and those who are stronger than him can be dealt with or even defeated by his pupil skills and terrifying tactical intelligence. Among them, Mangekio Sharingan certainly played a very critical role, but his fighting talent should not be ignored. The eyes of the second pillar were broken after only two days of use, and Uchiha Itachi could last for so many years. The difference is obvious. Even if Shimura Shuanyu doesn't like the filial son's behavior, he has to admit that Uchiha Itachi, like Namikaze Minato, has reached the peak of cage level. After watching the two little ones leave, the smile on Fugaku's face gradually disappeared, replaced by a gloomy look, looking at the two guards coldly. The workload will be doubled next week, notify everyone, no one is allowed to stop Shimura from coming. The two Uchiha agreed tremblingly and returned to their jobs. Fugaku took his son home and reminded him on the way. Itachi, pay attention to building a good relationship with Shimura at school. Shimura's attitude is very important to ease the relationship between the family and the village's top leaders. Although Uchiha Itachi is only six years old this year, the maturity he has shown since childhood makes Uchiha Fugaku not treat him as an ordinary child. Yes, father. Itachi replied respectfully, he understood what Fugaku was saying. Seeing his son agree, Uchiha Fugaku finally smiled with relief. But soon he returned to his bitter and vengeful look. It's really the current situation that makes him unable to laugh. The isolation of the Uchiha clan became more and more serious. The clan land was monitored by the village's high-ranking officials all day long. Uchiha Fugaku didn't know whether it was Danzo or the third Hokage's work, but he could only pretend to turn a blind eye. He hated the mysterious man who controlled the Nine Tails demon fox. If the Nine Tails rebellion hadn't happened, they wouldn't have been suspected and feared by the high-ranking officials, and the fourth Hokage wouldn't have died young. Namikaze Minato was not only talented, but also had a good character. He was a bright person like the sun, without any black spots on his body. He was completely different from the third generation, Danzo, an old shady politician. More importantly, he had no prejudice against the Uchiha clan, and he had an Uchiha disciple. Well, he was dead, though. In the short year that Namikaze Minato was in office, the conflicts within the village and the clan had eased a lot, giving Fugaku the opportunity to completely eliminate the gap. But the good situation came to an abrupt end after that night, and even went backwards. Not only did he have to deal with the vigilance and difficulties of Serutobi Hirazan, 
Danzo and others, but he also had to suppress the radical forces in the clan and ease the conflict. Being caught in the middle felt very difficult every day. The appearance of Shimura Shuanyu and his close relationship with Uchiha Kwan gave Uchiha Fugaku a glimmer of new hope. Uchiha Fugaku knew that Danzo had only Shimura Shuanyu as his only relative in the world. If he could convey Uchiha's goodwill through him and win over Danzo. Thinking of this, Fugaku looked at Itachi with a little more expectation. On the other side, Shimura Shuanyu, who was accompanying Uchiha Kwan, didn't know that Fugaku had set his sights on him. He just thought that the show of goodwill just now was to save Danzo's face. But even if he knew, he would probably just laugh it off and not take it to heart at all. At this point in time, no one in the world can resolve the conflict between Konoha and Uchiha. The only hope, Namikaze Minato, also died last year. The root of everything was planted during the Senju Tobarama period. The students he trained had no good feelings towards Uchiha. Not to mention that he was Danzo's grandson, even Danzo himself could not reconcile with Uchiha. Serutobi Hirazan seemed to be a weak and incompetent dove, but he was the one who feared Uchiha the most. An uncontrolled powerful armed force is the most troublesome existence for every insufficient ruler. In addition, Yugatane Kaharu and Mitokado Homura, two old guys, were once Senju Tobarama's guards and were deeply influenced by him. They also didn't like Uchiha. There was no one in the entire Konoha high level who had a good impression of Uchiha. Uchiha himself has big problems. The personality problems and the arrogance that has developed from years of being in charge of the guard department make it impossible for them to bow their heads and reconcile. Fugaku is indeed an ambitious clan leader, but without strength and courage, what can he change? He can only wait quietly for the transformation of the filial son. Izumi, Shuanyu, it's time to eat. A gentle female voice came from outside the house. The two little ones smiled at each other, put down their pens and walked out. Her mother is naturally a very gentle person who can cultivate such a sensible black long straight lowly like Uchiha Izumi. Izumi's mother Uchiha Jing urged the two to wash their hands first, and she put the grilled fish, sushi, and three bowls of miso soup on the table. When Shimura Shuanyu came back, she smiled at him and said. Auntie didn't know you were coming today, so I didn't prepare anything, just some home-cooked dishes. How could it be, these dishes smell delicious, I'm hungry. Shimura Shuanyu gave full play to the advantages of children cute, showing a big smile. Sure enough, Uchiha looked at him with a softer look. Naughty kids are annoying, but the sensible little boy is not. Then eat more, you are at the age of growing up. Uchiha said gently, and pushed a plate of fried fish over. In fact, she was very grateful to Shimura Shuanyu. Not only did she save the lost Izumi last year, but she also took extra care of her in the past year, allowing her daughter to gradually walk out of the shadow of losing her father. I want to grow tall too. I'm going to eat. Uchiha responded very energetically, and the two of them smiled unconsciously. Sure enough, Loli is the most healing existence. Shimura Shuanyu was very happy. Today was a fruitful day. Not only did the filial son explode gold coins, but Uchiha Jing of Gangong also sent a big gift. Host and Uchiha Jing established the bond of, the son-in-law is more and more pleasing to the eye, and received the reward, mother-in-law's expectation. Mother-in-law's expectation, when the distance between host and Uchiha Izumi is no more than 500 meters, the training speed of both parties will increase by 100%. A training type buff, the value is no less than that of Uchiha bloodline. The system has no limit on the range, that is, whether practicing ninjutsu, taijutsu, or refining chakra, his speed of becoming stronger will double. It seems that Izumi should be kidnapped from the Uchiha clan. Shimura Shuanyu's mind was racing. Regardless of whether Izumi was willing or not, Danzo alone was more troublesome. We still have to think about it in the long run. After a meal, it was already dark. Shimura Shuanyu accompanied Izumi to practice taijutsu for a while, feeling the effect of the bonus, and then said goodbye and left. After returning home, I found that Danzo was back. Old man, why are you back? He asked in surprise. Danzo almost regarded the root as his home. Even when Shimura Shuanyu was young, he spent most of his time in the root. The base of the roots is located underground. 
Shimura fled from that lifeless place on the pretext that she could not get sunlight. Danzo smiled, I was in a hurry to come back last time, so I forgot to give you a birthday present. He pushed a simple long wooden box over. Open it and take a look. It's just a birthday present, is it worth a special trip? Shimura muttered, but still opened the wooden box. Inside the box was a katana, the blade was slender and sharp, and the blade flashed with cold light, as if it could easily cut through any object. There was also a snake-like skin layer on the hilt to increase the friction of the grip. Shimura's eyes widened, as this. Kusanagi sword. Not bad. Shimura Danzo was proud in his heart, but his face was still cold. Orochimaru heard that you had a birthday and asked me to give it to you. It can be regarded as a birthday present from both of us. Shimura. I don't believe you, Orochimaru can be kind enough to give me the Kusanagi sword. If he didn't know what kind of person Orochimaru was, he would really believe it. But he was still very touched. Shimura knew that in order to get this sword, Danzo either threatened Orochimaru or made a deal with him. No matter which one it is, the price is not small. Let's not talk about how he treats outsiders, at least he is attentive to his grandson Danzo, and he has no ulterior motives. Thank you, Grandpa. Shimura Danzo was stunned. This seems to be, the first time Shimura Shuanyu called him Grandpa, right? Ding. Host and Shimura Danzo's bond reaches the third stage, final level, reward 1 standard Jonin Chakra, special talent, Ninja World Darkness. Ninja World Darkness, host can hide in any shadow, and the concealment effect is comparable to, Mayfly technique. Shimura Shuanyu was also stunned. Just calling Grandpa, the bond reached the highest level. The two stared at each other for a long time, and Danzo pretended to cough to break the awkwardness. It's getting late, Shuanyu, you go to rest, you still have to go to school tomorrow, remember, don't lose to Uchiha. Oh. Shimura Shuanyu nodded, holding the box of swords and walked back to his room. At the same time, he made a decision in his heart. It's too shameful to die after sealing a bridge. When he grows up, he will take over the route. It's better for this old dang to stay at home and enjoy his old age. Sitting on the bed, playing with the Kusanagi sword for a while, Shimura Shuanyu began to count today's gains. Name, Shimura Genjutsu. Gender, male. Age, 6 years old. Date of birth, April 1st 46 th year of Konoha calendar. Chakra attributes, fire, genius, wind, genius, yang, excellent, earth, good, yin, genius. Total Chakra. 1.1 Standard Jonin Chakra. Chakra Controlled Talent. Genius. Mastered Ninjutsu. 3 Body Technique, Proficient, Wind Style, Great Breakthrough, Normal, Fire Style, Blazing Fire, Normal. Nature Transformation. Wind Attribute Chakra, Grandmaster. Special Talents. Hope for Success, Mom Loves You, Senju Bloodline, Thin, Underdevelopment, Swordsmanship Genius, Stealth Grandmaster, Darkness of the Ninja World, Mother-in-Law's Expectation. The harvest can only be described as exaggerated. Before leaving, he was a freshman in the ninja school who could be called a genius at the same age. And now, not only is the chakra comparable to Jonin, but there are also two more chakra attributes and two special talents. Let's not talk about the earth attribute chakra for now. He has no interest in practicing it unless he has genius level talent. Yin attribute is an extremely precious attribute. Yin attribute is usually related to spiritual abilities such as illusions, representing the power of the spirit, and can create a form in the invisible. For example, the shadow of the Nara clan and the heart-turning technique of the Yamanaka clan are all yin attribute ninjutsu, which is very strange. The Sharingan of the Uchiha clan is also closely related to the yin attribute. In the future, he is likely to get the bond of the Sharingan bloodline, so the strength of the yin attribute is particularly important. However, Shimura Shuanyu's eyes fell on the box containing the Kusanagi sword again. At this stage, he should practice swordsmanship the most. With the extremely powerful wind attribute nature transformation, the lethality is comparable to the spells used by Jonin. But this standard unit of Jonin Chakra. Shimura Shuanyu felt it and found that it was about 50 times that of a standard Jenin and 5 times that of a standard Chunin. It has not yet reached the level of the universal unit of the ninja world, the card. It makes sense. Even if Kakashi cannot close the Sharingan and needs a lot of chakra to maintain it, 
he is at least a genius of Konoha, and chakra cannot be the lowest level of Jhanan. Try to brush up the bond, especially the bond rewards of the second and third stages, which will make his strength soar. Shimura Shuanyu set a goal to become a social butterfly in the ninja world and have bonds with everyone. At that time, even the resurrected sage of six paths will not be his opponent. The next day, Shimura Shuanyu went to the ninja school as usual. After using the detonating tag to blow up the target yesterday, his name has spread to other grades. Once people have a preliminary impression of him and he knows the other person's name, this initial bond is considered to be established. After school in the afternoon, Shimura Shuanyu took Izumi back home to accept Ebikini's teaching. Although the tuition fee is only for teaching one person, Ebikini did not dare to discuss business with the Shimura family, so he could only hold his nose and teach Izumi together. With the blessing of his mother-in-law's talent and the combat talent of Uchiha Itachi, Shimura Shuanyu's progress speed shocked Ebikyo. He was more proficient in basic Konoha Taijutsu than the genin who had already graduated. If this continues, he will probably be unemployed soon. For a while, Ebi Kyo was a little worried. The black-haired Loli Kwan didn't have such complicated thoughts as adults. Her two big eyes sparkled and she looked at Shimura Shuanyu with admiration. Shuanyu is so amazing, and what he showed in school is not all his strength. I have to work hard too, and I can't be left behind too far. More than a month has passed in a flash. The leaves on the streets of Konoha have become greener and the sound of cicadas can be heard faintly. Time is slowly entering summer. In the Shimura clan, Shimura Shuanyu is fighting fiercely with a ninja. The flashes of swords and shadows are flashing. The collision of the two is so fast that Uchiha Izumi, who is sitting on the side, can't see their movements clearly. There are only bursts of crisp iron hammering sounds and two blurred figures in his ears. Shimura Shuanyu raised his long sword, forcing the ninja fighting with him to lean back and avoid the sharp edge that pierced his throat. But the sword move suddenly changed, and the upward movement turned into a side attack, and the back of the sword hit the man's arm. Clang! The sword in his hand fell to the ground, and the battle came to an abrupt end. Shimura slowly sheathed his sword and exhaled a breath of turbid air, you lost, Nishimura teacher. The ninja in charge of sparring was named Nishimura K, an ordinary member of the route, with a strength of Chunin level, and was best at assassination and swordsmanship. Master Shuanyu is indeed a genius. Nishimura K lowered his head slightly and sighed. In the previous battle, he did not use all his strength and speed, after all, his opponent was just a six-year-old child. But his swordsmanship was also brought to the ultimate. He served as Shimura Shuanyu's swordsmanship teacher and sparring partner for only two weeks, but in these two weeks, the essence of swordsmanship that he had practiced for many years was absorbed by Shimura Shuanyu and surpassed him. Sure enough, the world of genius is not something that ordinary ninjas like him can understand. Master Shuanyu. Nishimura K lowered his head and looked at the boy, I have nothing to teach you anymore, I will report to Danzo-sama to find a better teacher for you. Thank you. Shimura Shuanyu nodded slightly and watched Nishimura K leave. Then he waved to Izumi and said with a smile, Let's go, I'll take you home. Uchiha Izumi jumped off the edge, hopped to Shimura's side, and held her hand. Hee hee, Shuanyu, you are so amazing, Mr. Nishimura is a chunin. It's just a chunin, Izumi should look at the long term. Pulling the little lowly, the two walked out, Shimura Shuanyu did not have any pride or complacency. He understood one thing, never judge the level and strength of ninjas by the performance of those characters in the original work. What is Genin? Mastering the three-body technique and being able to use it proficiently can graduate from the ninja school and become a Genin. Most Genin do not even have the qualifications to go to the battlefield, and they are just cannon fodder. Chunin are generally the captains of Genin, with stronger combat power and the ability to lead the team to perform tasks. As the system shows, they usually have 10 times the chakra of ordinary genin and can use B-level ninjutsu proficiently. This is the most real ninja, not like the 12 little strongmen, who either have family ninjutsu or have external bloodline. It's really no big deal to just beat an ordinary chunin in swordsmanship. Of course, even if he fights with all his strength, Nishimura K will not be a match for Shimura Shuanyu. Name, Shimura Shuanyu. Gender, male. Age, 6 years old. Date of birth, 
April 1st, 46 th year of Konoha calendar. Chakra attributes. Fire, genius, wind, genius, yang, excellent, earth, good, water, good, yin, genius. Total chakra. 1.6 standard jhanan chakra. Chakra controlled talent. Genius. Mastered ninjutsu. Three body technique proficient wind style great breakthrough proficient wind style fierce wind palm proficient fire style fierce fire proficient fire style great fireball technique proficient fire style dragon fire technique ordinary. Nature transformation. Wind chakra grandmaster fire nature transformation beginner. Strength rating. With your small arms and legs, it is easy to kill Chunin head on. During this period, Shimura Shuanyu did not receive any special rewards. Most of the bonds he gained were chakra and the most basic attributes, but with Izumi as an accelerator, his own training results were also considerable. He thought about letting Izumi move out, but finally gave up. At present, the situation between the village and Uchiha has not reached the most tense situation. He is a child with little influence. Even if he speaks out, Azumi's mother will not take it seriously, and it may also be noticed by someone with ulterior motives. So we still have to wait. Anyway, the Uchiha clan can still hold on for a few more years. On the other side, after leaving Shuanyu's house, Nishimura Chi quickly came to the root base. After reporting, he met Shimura Danzo and knelt on one knee. Chief, Master Shuanyu's swordsmanship has surpassed mine. I am no longer qualified to be his teacher. So soon. Danzo was also very surprised. I know, you can leave now. Nishimura Kai lowered his head and disappeared in an instant. It seems that Shuanyu's talent is beyond my expectations. Danzo was in a good mood, but a little melancholy. I was happy that Shimura Shuanyu's talent was too good, but I was worried about the next teacher. There are very few people with high swordsmanship in Konoha now. Maruboshi Kosuke is one of them, but he is too close to the third generation and the relationship between the two is not very good. He is not confident that Maruboshi Kosuke will teach Shuanyu. Why don't we try someone from the Yamashiro family? Danzo frowned and thought, but quickly rejected this idea. The Yamashiro family has a Jonin who is famous for his swordsmanship, but in his opinion, he is not much stronger than Nishimura Kai. How can a ninja who can be selected by him to join the route be an ordinary chunin? The swordsmanship level of the two will not be too different. The other choice, the Hozu family, was also abandoned by him for similar reasons. Suddenly, a figure of a short person flashed through Donzo's mind. Although young, he left a deep impression on him. The man's swordsmanship was indeed good, and he had a family background. The only problem was that his identity was sensitive. However, after thinking for a long time, Danzo made up his mind for Shimura Shuanyu. The next day, the weekend. There was no school today, and Shimura Shuanyu was just about to go out, but found that Danzo suddenly came back. Shuanyu, I found a new teacher for you. Danzo forced a smile. Not only can he teach you swordsmanship, but you can also ask him for other ninjutsu and taijutsu. Who is it? Shimura Shuanyu asked curiously. Swish. The breeze blew, and a young man appeared beside Shimura Danzo. Shimura Shuanyu looked at the young man who appeared out of thin air and was surprised. It turned out to be him. Hello, my name is Uchiha Shisui. The black-haired boy with a gentle smile appeared in an instant. He looked about 11 or 12 years old and was only a little over 1.5 meters tall. But Shimura Shuanyu did not dare to underestimate him. Uchiha Shisui is currently the strongest genius of the Uchiha clan. Apart from Infinite Tsukuyomi, he is the owner of the strongest illusion distinguished heavenly gods. He is also half of Uchiha Itachi's mentor and a tool for opening his eyes. Now Shimura Shuanyu only feels that Donzo's brain has been filled with water by Serutobi Hirazan using the water style, and he actually let Uchiha Shisui become his teacher. Uchiha Shisui does have this ability, but you have to look at who you are. Shimura Danzo, the second anti-Uchiha pioneer in the ninja world, the number one Senju Tobarama has long been dead. Noticing Shimura's puzzled look, Danzo thought he didn't believe in Uchiha Shisui's strength, and admonished in a deep voice, Shuanyu, don't underestimate Uchiha Shisui just because he is a few years older than you. He is a genius of the Uchiha clan. He has performed 8S level missions and more than 20 A level missions. He is particularly good at body flicker technique and swordsmanship. 
The ninjas of the enemy country call him Flicker Shiswi. You have to learn from him. Hearing Donzo's praise, Shimura didn't say anything, but Uchiha Shisui felt embarrassed and scratched his head like an ordinary big boy. Danzo, you are too kind. I still have a lot to learn. Danzo glanced at him and said nothing. Still learning, what are you learning so much for, you kid want to be Hokage. Shimura Shuanyu also accepted his fate and nodded, saying, Shisui Sr., please give me more guidance in the future. Shuanyu, can I call you that? After receiving a positive answer, Uchiha Shisui smiled very heartily. I will definitely teach you everything I know and help you become an excellent ninja. Don't call me Shisui Senior in the future. I'm not much older than you. Just call me by my name. Uchiha Shisui said this very sincerely. When Danzo called him last night and asked him if he was willing to be the teacher of his grandson, Uchiha Shisui agreed almost ecstatically. Like Uchiha Itachi, it should be said that Uchiha Itachi learned from him. Uchiha Shisui's eyes on thinking about problems have long been no longer limited to the clan, but stand at the height of the village and even the shadow. He is aware of the contradiction between the family and the village, especially in the delicate period now. But unlike the future Uchiha Itachi, he is still thinking about resolving this contradiction. Uchiha Shisui interpreted Donzo's behavior as a signal, at least the village was willing to believe him as a member of the Uchiha tribe. Shimura Shuanyu's identity was not insignificant, and he also had a good friend of the Uchiha tribe. As long as he could influence Shimura Shuanyu, he might be able to indirectly influence Danzo and use a weak fulcrum to pry the situation. Even if it was useless, it would allow Lord Danzo to see his attitude clearly. Ding! Host and Uchiha Shisui established a master-disciple bond and received the reward, dynamic vision. Fusion. When he acknowledged Shisui as his teacher, the system's prompt sounded as expected, which also surprised Shimura Shuanyu. But he still received the reward. In an instant, the world in his eyes slowed down a lot, and it seemed that he could even capture the trajectory of the wind. This feeling only lasted for a moment, and soon returned to normal, without attracting the attention of the two. You guys go to class, I still have official business to deal with. Shimura Danzo did not stay long. After introducing the two to each other, he left the Shimura clan. However, the guards who followed him secretly stayed and closely monitored Uchiha Shisui's behavior. In addition to the fact that Uchiha Shisui really met his requirements, he also had a calculation. Using Shisui who was close to the village to temporarily paralyze the Uchiha clan, it showed that the village had no intention of dealing with them, waiting for the opportunity and accumulating strength. Shimura Shuanyu's safety must also be taken care of. The two Jonan guards around him are insurance to prevent Uchiha Shisui from reverse brainwashing or even directly attacking. It can only be said that these people who play politics have dirty hearts, and an ordinary behavior contains 800 minds. Shuanyu, where do you want to start first? Uchiha Shisui asked gently in the courtyard. Danzo said you have the attributes of fire and wind. It just so happens that Uchiha is best at fire style, and there are also swordsmanship that cooperates with fire style. Shisui Sr., I have other things to do in the morning. How about starting training in the afternoon? If you want, you can go with me. Shimura Shuanyu said. Where to? Uchiha Shisui was curious. Half an hour later, Uchiha Shisui looked at the gate in front of him. Konoha Orphanage. Come in with me. Shimura Shuanyu waved back, and several ninjas carrying huge packages followed him into the orphanage. The orphanage is located on the edge of the village. It does not cover a large area. There is only a three-story building and a yard as big as half a football field. A middle-aged woman in her thirties with glasses was playing games with several four- or five-year-olds with a gentle smile on her face. She was stunned when she saw Shuanyu and others come in, but soon greeted them. Little boy, what are you doing? The middle-aged woman was very keen to notice that the youngest child was the main one among the people who came in, so she asked Shimura Shuanyu. Are you Dean Nanueyu? Shimura Shuanyu smiled brightly, my name is Shimura Shuanyu, and I am Hiroki's classmate. I heard that life in the orphanage is difficult, and sometimes they can't even get enough food, so I brought some things here. Shimura classmate. A boy who was about the same age as Shimura Shuanyu ran over. When he heard what he said, his little face was full of gratitude, but he didn't get the second stage bond reward. 
Shimura Shuanyu. Nanoyu's pupils shrank slightly, but his facial expression was very well controlled, and he smiled in surprise at the right time. Thank you so much, little friend Shimura. It's okay, my family doesn't have much else, but it's rich. Shimura Shuanyu's words made Nanoyu's mouth twitch, and a sentence popped up involuntarily in his mind. The son sells his father's land without feeling sorry. Uchiha Shisui, who had been silent all the time, looked at Shimura Shuanyu's small figure, and his eyes had changed. What a kind-hearted child, he can think about others at such a young age. Is this, the will of fire? The children living in the orphanage had a delicious meal. Shimura Shuanyu's gifts were naturally not shabby, and most of the food she brought was various kinds of meat. For the orphans in Konoha Orphanage, it was good to eat meat two or three times a month, and the quantity was not much, so this meal was considered a good meal. However, Shimura Shuanyu was not in a very good mood, with a gloomy face and fewer and fewer words. Is the food not to your taste? Nono carefully observed his mood, I'm very sorry, the chef's skills in the orphanage are not very good. If she was just an ordinary orphanage director, then even if Shimura Shuanyu brought valuable supplies, she would not have to be so cautious. But unfortunately, being an orphan director is Nano's main job, and she also has a small part-time job. Yakushi Nono, a root spy, and an elite spy, has completed many dangerous missions and won the title of, Walking Miko. Most of the orphans in the orphanage have the qualifications to become ninjas, which is considered one of the backup resources of the route. Nono knew how deep the darkness of Danzo was. Shimura was his last relative, so he must not be careless, lest he be hated. Then her retirement plan would be completely impossible. That's why she cared so much about Shimura's mood changes. Nothing. Shimura shook her head slightly, quickly finished the food in her bowl, put down her bowl and chopsticks and said, Dean Nono, I have to practice in the afternoon, so I won't stay here for long. As he stood up, Uchiha Shisui also stopped talking to the child beside him. Shimura walked over and looked at the white-haired child who had been talking to Uchiha Shisui just now. What's your name? Kabuto. The white-haired child gently kaido, with gratitude in his eyes. Okay, Kabuto, I'll come to see you next time. Shimura smiled, and then took Uchiha Shisui and the ninja who came with him away. After working for half a day, there were nearly 200 orphans in the orphanage. Except for Nono, only 20 children got the bond reward. No wonder Shimura was unhappy. Most of the 20 children were chakra, and there were a few ordinary chakra attributes. If the rewards of Nono and Kabuto were not good, he would have cursed. Host and Yakushi Nono established a vigilance bond and obtained the chakra control talent excellent. Host and Yakushi Kabuto established a gratitude bond and obtained the chakra control talent genius. Chakra control talent may seem insignificant, but it is actually very important. Climbing trees and treading water are just the most basic training items. The real difficulty lies in the accurate output of chakra in battle. In the words of the game, chakra is the mana. Having enough mana means you can use more ninjutsu, but it does not determine the power of the ninjutsu. The power of a ninjutsu is affected by multiple factors. The amount of chakra contained in a single ninjutsu, the user's mastery of nature transformation, and the level of the ninjutsu itself. Chakra control not only determines the output chakra limit of a single ninjutsu, but also affects the learning of higher level ninjutsu. Just like Uzumaki Naruto's wind style Rasenshuriken, it must be practiced with extremely high control and nature transformation as a foundation. After integrating this reward, although his chakra control talent has not reached the ultimate level, it has also been strengthened a lot. Except for Tsunade, his chakra control talent should be the strongest in the entire ninja world. On the way back, Shimura Shuanyu first connected his small accelerator, and then returned to the Shimura clan to train with Uchiha Shisui. Because it was the first day, there was no specific teaching content. Uchiha Shisui asked Shimura Shuanyu to use all means to fight him in order to find out his level. Hiding chakra nature transformation, Shimura Shuanyu also showed his full strength, which made Shisui admire him again and again. He was far inferior to him at this age, and his strength improved by leaps and bounds only after the Sharingan opened its eyes. Especially the swordsmanship, no wonder Lord Danzo asked him to be Shimura Shuanyu's teacher. 
The sun sets, and an afternoon passes in a flash. Uchiha Shisui stood at the gate and smiled at Shimura Shuanyu. Shuanyu, I will bring the Uchiha family's swordsmanship scroll tomorrow. As for the body flicker technique, I will teach you when your swordsmanship reaches a bottleneck. How about it? Shimura Shuanyu nodded, I will listen to Senior Shisui. It can be seen that Uchiha Shisui really spent a lot of money. Not only is the Uchiha family's swordsmanship going to be passed on, but he also plans to teach him the body flicker technique that made them famous. After watching Shisui leave, Uchiha Izumi, who had been hungry for a long time, thought that she could finally eat, but she was taken out by Shimura Shuanyu, who bought a lot of green peppers at the vegetable market, and asked Aburame Chingsi and Yamanaka Liang to carry them to the orphanage again. Under Nano's puzzled eyes, Shimura Shuanyu, like a dandy, forced the chef of the orphanage to stop preparing dinner and eat a full pepper banquet tonight. In Konoha, the food that children and even many adults hate the most is green peppers. Green peppers themselves have a unique smell, and many people are very sensitive to it, just like coriander, and they can't stand it at all. Moreover, most of the cooking in Konoha is boiled or steamed in plain water. Even if you can tolerate this smell, it tastes terrible. The green peppers bought by Shimura Shuanyu are the result of plundering the entire vegetable market. Pots and pots of green peppers were served on the table. While listening to the dean talk about the nutritional value of green peppers, the children stuffed them into their mouths with nausea. Shimura was so happy that she said loudly, Don't worry, I will bring a lot of green peppers next week. Don't worry or eat them. Wow. Finally, a little kid couldn't hold back and cried. It was like a fire line was ignited, and the whole orphanage exploded. There were cries one after another. Nono and several caregivers were busy, and Yamanaka Ryo and Aburame Kiyoshi's mouths twitched wildly. Their young master, is a bit wicked. He is worthy of being the descendant of Danzo. Shimura smiled. Congratulations host. The orphanage was very lively after the green pepper feast, and Shimura Shuanyu also got the results he wanted. The first stage of the bond of more than 100 people was achieved instantly. He couldn't keep up with the prompt sounds, and some people gave two rewards directly. Shimura Shuanyu felt a sense of enlightenment in his heart. People's memory of kindness is far less profound than hatred. If you want to establish a bond with everyone, the fastest way is definitely not to make friends with everyone. Of course, this is impossible. But, make them disgusted, afraid, and hate. Only emotions like hatred can achieve mutual understanding among the five major countries. Shimura Shuanyu suddenly felt a little regretful. If he had Donzo's reputation and deterrence now, well, and the ability to take the blame. It is estimated that the bond reward he obtained should make him invincible in the ninja world. Yakushi Kabuto looked at Shimura Shuanyu, who was smiling and then returning to indifference. While feeling strange in his heart, he also had a little more respect for him. Moody, this kid is too scary. Host and Yakushi Kabuto reach the second stage of bond reward, reward special talent, scientific research ability. Shimura Shuanyu was interrupted from thinking, and glanced at Yakushi Kabuto. What is this kid thinking about, how come he has reached the second stage all of a sudden? In the ninja school, Kazama Shuichi looked serious. Classmates, tomorrow we will have this year's final exam. This exam will test your learning results for the past year. It is divided into two parts, written test and practical test. Written test in the morning, practical test in the afternoon. By then, the third Hokage will also come to the ninja school to observe your performance. As soon as the voice fell, the whole class exploded. Is the Hokage coming too? Except for the third Hokage at the opening ceremony, I haven't seen him again. Great, I must perform well and be praised by the Hokage, so that my parents won't dare to spank me. Although the brainwashing work now is not as serious as in the future, the third Hokage has been the Hokage for more than 20 years, and his prestige in the village is unmatched. When they heard that he was coming, all the students were excited. Even Uchiha Itachi sat up straight subconsciously. Fengjian Shuichi was not in a hurry, and waited until the commotion gradually subsided before speaking again, I hope you all show your best. If anyone fails, then the homework for the next semester will be doubled. The group of naughty children immediately became honest, and Fengjian Shuichi announced the end of class. Shimura Shuanyu took Izumi back to his home as usual, 
and he didn't feel much about the third Hokage coming. In addition to daily presence to improve reputation, he knew that Sarutobi Hirazan was most likely here for Uchiha Itachi. Every Uchiha genius would cause fear in the village. Itachi was not only a genius, but also the son of the clan leader, so it was understandable that he came to see him. Izumi, I plan to graduate after this exam. Huh. The lowly who was eating a box of chibi maruko was stunned at first, and then became anxious. Graduate early. Then I want to graduate early too. Every day with Shimura, Uchiha Izumi knew his strength very well. Not to mention graduation, even becoming a chunin would be no problem. Even she herself has the level of a graduate. I don't know why, every time she practices with Zanyu, Izumi feels that she is growing smarter, and the speed of progress is more effective than a day of hard practice at home. Now she has mastered the most basic three-body technique, and has learned two fire ninjutsu. The only shortcoming is that the chakra is not enough. Of course, this shortcoming is also compared with other adult ninjas. Uchiha Izumi has Uchiha blood. Even if she has not opened her eyes, the amount of chakra is much higher than that of ordinary people. She must have the level of genin. Izumi, you can't graduate yet. Shimura stopped and said seriously, the war is not over yet. Even if you don't go to the battlefield, the mission you are going to perform will be very dangerous. You will graduate in two years, and the situation will be much better by then. Then you should stay in school with me. Hearing about the war, Izumi's little face was full of tension, we will graduate together after the war is over. Shimura explained, I can't learn anything by staying in school, it can only waste my time, and you don't have to worry about my safety. The village can't assign two dangerous tasks to me. After some persuasion, Shimura gave up the idea of Izumi graduating early. He can only barely protect himself now, and has no spare energy to protect Izumi. If he keeps spending time in school, he can't get in touch with more ninjas and get more bonds. He can't get the second stage reward of his mother's legacy to make his talent leap. So he must graduate. Otherwise, lying in school can quickly become, and he can repeat the grade until he graduates with Hanabi. On the other side, the Uchiha tribe. In a small forest, several big trees were hung with targets. Uchiha Itachi, who was originally training in throwing, suddenly stopped, as if he was digesting some information. After a while, he opened his eyes again. Final exam, third Hokage. After learning the news brought back by Shadow Clone, Itachi did not react much and returned to training. Until the smoke from the cooking in the clan came, he collected the ninja tools and returned home. Brother. Brother. A small figure staggered out of the house. Uchiha Itachi showed a gentle smile on his face, took two quick steps, and picked him up. Sasuke. Brother, hug me. Okay, brother hug me. Tease little Sasuke, Uchiha Itachi felt that this was the happiest time of his day. A gentle voice came from the kitchen, as Itachi back. Go wash your hands and prepare for dinner. By the way, help Sasuke wash too. I know, mom. Uchiha Itachi walked into the bathroom holding little Sasuke. In the evening, during dinner, Uchiha Fugaku also mentioned the final exam. I heard that the third generation adults will also go to school, so behave well and don't let down the reputation of Uchiha. Yes. Uchiha Itachi nodded gently, carefully removed all the bones from the fish meat, and then put small pieces into Sasuke's mouth. The conversation between the father and son ended so simply. In fact, no one took a simple exam seriously. The next day, the students arrived at the school and the exam started soon. In fact, the students of the ninja school are still very hard. There are many things to learn every day, even for the first year students. The most basic chakra refining, ninja tool throwing twice a week, two classes of physical skills every day, in addition to this, there are at least four hours of cultural courses. In the elementary school of the previous life, it would be considered a test. And the content of the cultural courses is even more diverse. Eight gate, physics, chemistry, poison, history and geography of various countries have become a hodgepodge. Looking at the numbers and symbols on the test paper, Shimura sighed and began to answer questions. Question. There is a ninja 30 meters away in the southeast direction. At this time, the wind direction and wind speed are 10 meters per second from north to south. 
Please draw a parabola and describe the approximate throwing force. Answer. Tie a detonating talisman and throw it however you want. If it doesn't explode, I lose. Question. The assassination target is protected by three ninjas, the position is shown in the figure. Please design a route to successfully complete the assassination and escape. A. Use the flying thunder god technique to kill the three ninjas first, then kill the target, and return the same way. Q. Please list three contributions that the third Hokage made to Konoha. A. 1. Prohibit the opening of casinos in the village. 2. No more. 3. No more. Q. Please write an essay to express your feelings for the village. A. My Hokage assists Grandpa. In less than an hour, Shimura Shuanyu finished all the test papers. He did not hand in the paper in advance, and waited until the time was up before handing it in with his classmates. Just when I was about to find a place to eat lunch with Izumi, he was kept by Kazama Shuichi. Genjutsu-san. Shuichi Kazama's attitude was very friendly. There will be a shuriken throwing test this afternoon. The third Hokage wants to see your true strength, not your financial resources. So, don't use the exploding talisman this afternoon. Ever since he shocked everyone with the exploding talisman shuriken, he has to blow up several targets every time he throws the class, but Shuichi Kazama still has no way to deal with Genjutsu. But today is different. The third Hokage is here, and he won't be a teacher if he uses the exploding talisman again. I cannot use the exploding talisman, but Mr. Kazama has to agree to one of my requests. Shimura smiled brightly. In the afternoon, the first year students came to the test site. They didn't wait too long. Sarutobi Hirazan, wearing a Hokage hat and a divine robe, arrived with guards. The students were all excited and rushed to rush up. Sarutobi Hirazan stopped the guards from coming forward and greeted the students with a kind smile. If it weren't for the conspicuous royal robe and the Hokage hat on his head, he would just be an ordinary grandfather next door. Shimura Shuanyu didn't surround him, but just stood in the distance to observe this, fire Renzong. Although Sarutobi Hirazan and his grandfather have a deep bond, this is also the first time he has seen Sarutobi Hirazan's true face. There are still ten years before the beginning of the plot. Sarutobi Hirazan doesn't have so many wrinkles on his face. He is less than sixty years old. Suddenly, as if he felt his gaze, Sarutobi Hirazan, who was smiling and talking to a little fat man, raised his head and happened to meet Shimura Shuanyu's eyes. After a moment of stunned, he quickly remembered the other party's identity and walked over with a large group of people. You are Shuanyu. Sarutobi asked with a smile. That's right. Shimura nodded, hello, old monkey. Everyone around him looked at him in shock, and Fengjian Shuichi opened his mouth wide, with only one thought in his mind. It's over, my ninja career is over. Old monkey. Sarutobi Hirazan was not as angry as everyone thought but just frowned, and then slapped Shimura's head unhappily. It must be that old guy Danzo who taught you. Don't learn from him, this old guy. Shimura. It's bad, the biggest boss that prevented him from brushing the bond reward turned out to be his grandfather. The power of the pot shadow is so terrifying that Sarutobi Hirazan almost thoughtlessly put his rudeness on Danzo's head. The reason why Shimura dared to do this was, first, because of his identity, and second, because of the personality established by the third generation to the outside world, he was destined not to care about a child. Unfortunately, Sarutobi Hirazan not only didn't care, but also didn't take it to heart, so the bond naturally didn't brush out. Seeing Shimura's face drooping, Sarutobi Hirazan ruffled his hair. I'll pay attention to your results later. If I'm not satisfied, I'll complain to your grandfather. After saying that, he smiled again and left. Soon, the test began. One student after another came forward to throw shuriken. When it was Uchiha Itachi's turn, Sarutobi Hirazan, who had always been casual, perked up. Seeing that he threw five shurikens at the same time and hit the bull's eye, he couldn't help but twist his beard and nodded. As expected of the Uchiha clan, the control of ninja tools is outstanding even without the Sharingan. What surprised him was that Shimura actually used the same method to throw. As this, Uchiha's throwing method, Uchiha Itachi was also surprised. As the descendant of the village's high-ranking officials, Shimura's confidentiality is very high. 
Uchiha Shisui was also forbidden by Danzo to tell others that he was teaching Shimura, and Uchiha Itachi was unaware of this. Sarutobi Hirazan whispered something to a guard beside him, and his expression returned to normal. Soon, the shuriken throwing was over, and the next step was the taijutsu duel. Students whose names are called, come forward and make the seal of opposition. You can only fight after I say start. After the end, you must make the seal of reconciliation, just like I taught in class. After announcing the rules, Shuichi Kazama read out, the first group, Kenta Arakawa, Koichi Horikawa. The two boys came to the center of the venue. The first year taijutsu duel was really terrible. The only difference from fighting with ordinary children was because of chakra. Their speed and strength were stronger, but they had no skills at all. After just a few moves, Koichi Horikawa gave up because he was afraid of pain. When he left the field, he rubbed his stomach and tears came out. Shuichi Kazama shook his head helplessly, glanced at Sarutobi Hirazan, who looked expressionless, and then looked at the order list, and fell to the end. Second group, Shimura Shuanyu, Uchiha Itachi. Wow! Thanks for watching.